Good evening everyone, welcome back to a very wet day in England, but um, doesn't matter, we're indoors, so that's good. Right, so, this is going to be a bit of a Let's Play episode, we're, we're working our way through Town Hall 5, doing pretty well because loot's been quite easy to come across. If I go to the tag log, um, I got a, quite a few sort of decent attacks just getting in the loot um which really does help when these wall pieces are twenty thousand a piece so that is good um as i showed you in a previous video i've been using a builder base just to kind of get an idea what's um needs upgrading what's going well we've got the barbarians being upgraded at the moment then i'll see how many goes and we'll get the um the goblins upgraded because I use those a lot. Always upgrade the troops you use a lot. It's always a good way. So we've got um, the wall pieces been going pretty well. I might tidy that up just to make it look neater. And other than that, oh, there you go. Easy money. Oh no. I haven't got enough gold to buy the initial bit. Is that enough? No. All right. I think the best thing to do is to just do an attack. Hang on, what's practice available? Okay. Look at that. So, could do Bloom Parade. This is something I highly recommend because you, you just follow the, uh, the tutorial and you learn a lot. This is something that was a lot newer. Um, this is a lot, sort of, this is new to Clash of Clans is the right word I'm sort of working, trying to, I'm really not getting my words out tonight. Mate. This is something that's relatively new to Clash of Clans. Like when I first started back in 2013, you didn't have these level of tutorials and it really does help because um one they're you know really good for loot and two it's quite interactive so you can really learn how to um sort of do these new attacks downside is you're going to have to just sit here and wait whilst um the balloons take over the rest of the, this base Although, no, you won't, because I've already got the loot. So, I, I'll, like, I'll exit this out for now, just because it's, um, I don't want to waste um, the time on this video. So, there we've got a good amount of loot. So, that's going to give us enough to do the goblin upgrade when um, the barbarians are done, which is great. So, let's go and do an attack, a normal attack, and see if we get lucky. Um... So my normal sort of army camp at the moment is a couple of wall breakers, six giants, and then a bit of a spread um, between archers and goblins. I think that works well. Um, see, I can chuck these two in here. It doesn't quite get it. Never mind. Giants will. And then I pretty much just follow the giants with other troops. So just chucking a bunch in. And um, at this level of the game, it's it's this mortar. That's the real pain. If you can get rid of the mortar, you're going to be doing a lot better, a lot quicker. Purely because of the amount of damage the mortar can do versus um, these relatively weak troops. Right, that's pretty good. I'm not too bothered about stars now, so as soon as I've got all the loot, I'll just go out, because I've won, and to be fair, it doesn't really bother me at this point in the game. Um, right, so I've got a good army camp there, so just top up what we used. Um, what's that, 20 and 24, so just do a mix to finish off. Cool. And I very rarely use um, uh, lightning spells, but they're there if I need them. So that's pretty much where we are. It's a bit of a, I use this word a lot, but it's a bit of a churn now. Oh, let's just check what we've got for here. So we've got a lo some good um, amount of gems there and another one there. 25. So we've got up to 239, which is good. So fundamentally... Over the next couple of days, it's just going to be a case of do some attacks, get some loot, and just work my way through the base. I'm not doing it in a massively 
sort of ordered way at the moment. Um, obviously, the army camps is always going to be the priority. Get some uh, more, more troops. I did upgrade one barracks, um, which would give me the chance to uh, build the wizard. But to me, I've never used a wizard <laughs> at this level of the game. So I'm not going to be rushing to do the other two yet because I don't need this, this, the quicker times. Um, I did do that bomb, so it needs to be moved over into this side. So a lot of it's just going to be dependent on how much loot I've got. Because we've got the need to spend 250,000 there, that only means I've actually got 109,000. So although I could do one of these gold storages, I probably won't. I'll probably concentrate on doing these five here. The wizard tower, the arch tower, the cannon, the gold mine, and the elixir collector. Get those up to, although nearly up there already. Um, get those up uh, to level five, and, um, and then just keep pushing them all up. And that'd be it. So thanks for this sort of let's play episode. Hope you've learned a few things. Um, check my other videos. Please subscribe for future videos, and I'll just keep working my way through Clash of Clans without spending gems, unless I can get a builder, which is in a thousand. So I've got a bit of a wait, but it's getting there. Thanks for watching. See you soon.